Hey everybody, Patty Ann here. I'm going to show you how you can easily use Silhouette Studio for printing anything you like. So I'm going, to, and it's a free version of it. I'm going to come up here to help and change it so that I am viewing in the standard edition, which is free. So while I'm in the standard edition, I can go to file and uh, merge and I can bring in a picture. Say I want to bring in a picture of my little girl, Roxy, like this, right? So I could bring that in as big as I want. Now I have a large format printer, so I could actually print her 11, what is it, 11 by 17, I think it is. But let's just pretend I want to print her out, um, you know, the regular size. What I could do is just come over here to this square to make sure, and I can change this square. Let me put a little color in it. I can make this square so it's eight and a half by 11, which is what most of our printers do. And I would simply come up here, unlock this lock, make it 11 inches high and 8.5 inches wide. Okay, and now you might be wondering, well, why in the world would I do that? I have this huge image that I've brought in and I have this rectangle here onto which I'm going to print it because this is the size that my printer can print. So I can put this right over top and if I'd like to I can come way over here to this paint palette and change the opacity or how dark that is or the transparency I should call it because that's what it's called here. When I have that selected I can click right here where it says transparency and make it more transparent so I can see exactly what I'm getting and then I can actually go ahead and you know, resize my picture down. Usually you shouldn't resize your pictures up because they may become pixelated or blurry. So I could resize it down like that and she's going to fit on there perfectly like that. So if I go ahead to print this image right now, what I probably want to do is to crop off some of this extra junk and I can use this knife tool right here, see the knife, and I have it to auto apply. So all I'm gonna do, and there's many ways to do this, I could use the knife tool and just click here and watch what happens. I'm gonna hold down my shift key so I get a nice straight tool knife like that. And since it's been auto applied, I can get my select tool here and grab that away and hit my delete on my keyboard. Another way I could have done it was drawn a box around both things and come over here to this little modify panel and say crop. And look what that does. It crops it to the exact size that I need. Now, I can do this right here from Silhouette Free Biz Basic Edition. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. So I would just go up here to File and Print. And I'll have the link for you down below and you'll notice it's going to fit perfectly on my page for my printer. I could say print, but I'm not going to print it Roxy right now. What I really wanted to show you today was this. Let's get rid of this. Let's suppose for a moment that you want to make something um, that's a PDF file and you want to make it the right size. For example, you can get the Highlander Cow image for free right now and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so maybe you like to color or maybe you like to paint and you can get this really cute cowl right now for free if you put your name in here and you enter your email here. You'll get it in your email. Once you've gotten it in your email, you're going to want to go ahead and open it. So now is the time that you'll have to have the designer edition to do this. Now let me show you what is the designer edition of Silhouette you're wondering. Okay, the designer edition is simply this. It costs one time fee of $49.99. That's it. You never have to pay for it again. And you get all of this software stuff, these tools at your convenience for all kind of artwork that you might like to do. It costs, like I said, it's $49.99. I'll have a link for you down below. I appreciate it if you use my link. I get a little commission and I can keep making these videos. But anyway, oh, and I have a ton of them if you want to learn how to use this software. 
Um, but let's say you get the designer edition now and you've downloaded it and notice it does say, you know, this is a, a one-time fee. There's no yearly fees, no additional costs, blah, blah, blah. It's fabulous. I, and these are all the things that you get with it, but you check it out and I think you're going to like it. So let's go back to Silhouette. Here I am in Silhouette, and I'll show you why you need the Designer Edition. The free version, which I'm in right now, won't work. Because if I go to File and Open, and I try to open that tracer that I just downloaded right here, Tracer Full, okay? Look what happens. It says the file type you're attempting to access is not supported. So in the free version, of Silhouette software. You can do a ton. You can add text. You can add figures. You can add all these tools over here and I'll teach you all about them if you... I'll have a link for you right up above my whole playlist full of tutorials on using this software. But now I'm going to show you. I'm going to go ahead because I have all of the versions. I'm going to view this now in Designer Edition so that you can see now if I have Designer Edition what I can do. So now I'm going to say to File and Open. And when I go to that same tracer right here, look at it, it comes in. Now, for this, I want to go ahead and change. I don't want to import it as a vector. I'm going to import it as an image, right, like that. And because this isn't anything fancy that I'm doing, what I'm going to do now is I'm making this for sublimation because I'm going to have a paint party and I want this to be a certain size. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to import it as an image at 72 dpi. Say import. All right, there it is, the whole thing. If I click on it and I can highlight it, you can come up here and you can see that right now it's 16 inches tall and 20 inches wide. Well, my printer won't print that much. And let's just pretend for a moment that Instead of having it on that size, I want to have it on a 8 by 10 canvas. Or maybe I want to have it on my 11 by 14 canvas. So if I want to have it on 11 by 14 canvas, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change the width of this to 14 and hit enter with the lock still locked and see what happens. Okay, that's almost perfect. I just need to maybe change this to 11 because it's 11.2, which is no big deal. But I'll change it to 11 with the lock still locked and hit enter. And now that's 11. And this is a little bit less than 14. So my printer can print this because I do have the larger format printer. If, however, you want to print it at 8.5 by 11, you can do the same thing. This time, of course, you would need to unlock the lock. No, no, no. You want to leave the lock still locked. I'm going to make this the width 11 and hit enter. And now, look, it's a little tiny bit over 8.5 right here. So I can go ahead one more time and go in here and put this 8.5 and hit enter. And then that will print perfectly on my printer. But that's one of the reasons why you'd like to have the um, this edition because you can bring in all these free PDFs that you can get that you can paint you can make them paint by numbers you could just have a ball with these things additionally you could sublimate with these and that's what I'm going to do I could put a name on here I could put a date on here I could put anything I want let's just say I want to say um, I don't know we'll call her Mabel <laughs> Mabel I don't know Mabel, E-L, Mabel, Ellie, Mabel, that's her name, Mabel. And I don't want it to be like this. I'm going to go ahead and put some color in it first. Whoopsie, Let's see, I need to highlight them all. Whoopsie. And make some color. And I can make it bigger. And I could change the font by coming over here. There's so much you can do, and you can do these kind of things in the free version as well. So I come over here, boop, right there, and I can change it to any font that I like. Okay, maybe I like that. I also can double click on this again and make this bar come up. And when I stretch that bar, look what it does. It makes it so that it's a vertical word. And now there's too much space in between the letters. 
So I can go to line spacing and put them together closer like that. Um, what else? Can, there's so much you can do. I just wanted to show you how easy it's to use this software to create things that you can print out to color or you could print out to sublimate on something. And this is a free thing and I think that you'll really like getting it. Now, the one that I have been using and I'm teaching a virtual class on this one and I'd love to have you join me. I'll have a link for the class below as well. But let me show you what it looks like. Okay, the first one we're doing is the one on the right hand side here, the cute snowman. And then after that, I may do some others. But this is a virtual party. I'm also having parties in person in my neighborhood. So if you want to join me for the virtual party, I will have a link for it for you down below. Check it out. I'd love to have you join me. Paint together. Have some fun. Crafty. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope this helped you to understand how you can open up PDF files and adjust them in designer edition of the Silhouette software and also how you can do tons and tons of stuff with just the free software. Again, thanks for joining me. I hope to see you all again soon. Bye-bye.